Well, JFK, New York's busiest airport, is getting a major makeover. It also means saying goodbye to Terminal 2 this weekend for the multi billion dollar redevelopment plan. CBS News' Zinnia Maldonado is there, joins us live with the details. Zinnia, what can you tell us about this project? Chris and Mary, good morning. Well, flights will be leaving out of Terminal 2 for the final time this weekend, so construction can begin making it part of the new $9.5 billion Terminal 1. Now, these are renderings of what the new terminal is set to look like. The 2.4 million square foot terminal will be the largest at JFK, and it's part of the ongoing $18 billion JFK Vision Redevelopment Plan. The goal is set to transform JFK into a more modern 21st century airport, and the project is set to create more than 10,000 jobs. Now, around 10 this morning, the Port Authority will commemorate the final flights traveling through Terminal 2, which will be taken completely out of operation by this Sunday. The closure is needed as the new Terminal 1, which is set to open in 2026, will incorporate the former sites of Terminal 1, 2, and 3. They first broke ground on construction back in September when Governor Kathy Hochul deemed the renovations necessary and long overdue. And after a pandemic filled with too much despair, far too much despair, here in New York we are acting. And we're accepting the responsibility for our future by literally building a brighter one with projects like this for our state. And because this is people's first impression, I know their first impression is going to be, wow, wow, this is extraordinary. And later this afternoon, there will be a city council hearing where multiple committees will receive an update on how the project is playing out so far. We're live this morning from JFK Airport. Sania Maldonado, CBS 2 News. Sania, thank you.